All right, folks, the deck is Dragon Control Warrior. The goal of the deck is to keep our opponent's board clear in the early game with some of the rifts so that we can draw our way towards the key dragons in our deck, gain some armor, remove our opponent's board with Kotohide Drum Kit, and then eventually play the Kazaka Sand so that we can find a way to win. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Watch this! We have turned our curse into our strength. Ah, ah, I see you brought guests. It's a good hand for even shaman. Great draw for even shaman. Especially leading up to the um, shield shatter. I'll take that. Shield shatters aren't terribly easy to play when uh, the opponent is stripping away my armor every turn. I do want to save the brawl for a bigger board if I am able. I feel like this probably qualifies. Miss some damage there, friend. It's a lot worse when it's on all by itself. Next turn I can hero power, play the Onyxian Drake. my armor. This curse has become okay. our greatest strength. That's not how it works. I have to hold on to the cards in hand so that I can potentially coin out a shield shatter next turn. You're welcome, Carlos. Please don't kill me. Oh god, the crackle rolls. Can already feel them coming. No. Oh! Oh, look who decided to show up! Uh, this will be for... Four, five, this will go to five. Probably can't play both. The 
time has come. All right. Got another Shield Shatter queued up. Could even go like Shield Shatter Kazakasan next turn. No, I won't be able to do that. So I'll save the Finley. Oh, okay. That should be that should be good from here. Amplifier, no. Amplifier is a card that doesn't do anything, though, so. 6 9. Nice. Okay, I kind of want this to die. So I can draw a card because I'm going to play the Kazakus in here. Seems fun. Yep. All right, next turn we probably go from the depths into Spinley. the one that I don't want, right? GG. Let's keep the spinly just in case we draw the from the depths. I see you This hand is terrible. So let's get this out of here. And now we can contest a rig fair game. We're gonna get much more progress than this, but it still could have a decent payoff. It'll be our little secret. Have you ever thought about qualifying any Hearthstone championships? Uh, I did for the Wild Open, and uh, I stopped enjoying playing Hearthstone when I was playing competitively, so I stopped playing competitively. I don't want to risk the uh, rig fair game here. Your signature is required. Uh, brutal. Excuse me, you are on fire. The time has come to dethrone our former master. I need to save this for next turn to potentially get that off the board, but it's looking an awful lot like this could be a um, counterspell. 
Your signature is required. His reign ends now. That was an outstanding draw. No! Where do you find your deck builds? Uh, do you build them? Uh, so it's... Sure. It's Ice Block or Flame Ward. It's a really good pickup. Almost all of their burst already. They have the bartenders. It'll be our little secret. Kind of feel like if they don't have another secret in hand, this order was a pretty big oops. Yeah, that was uh, An extraordinarily bad order. <laughs> huh. I was just trying to clear the objection there. Play more than Secret Mage? Yeah, people, people are in it. It's more common than Ice Block. It seems you need another sure. I mean, I could do this all day. That's the second uh, objection, so... Have a blast. Excuse me, you are on fire. An incredible discovery. I think both Onyxia and um, Deathwing are pretty good there. The thing that pushed me towards the uh, Deathwing is I want to start stacking armor a little bit for the sake of um, the flurry that I do have in hand. Well, you sure did it. Shouldn't Seeker Mage just play the new cards like Rewind and Suvara to get more objections and counter spells in play? Wouldn't they be better off just killing the opponent? Because that's what they're good at? No, I, I absolutely do not think they should be running those cards. Those, those cards sound very bad for Seeker Mage. Nice explosive. You ain't seen nothing. Secret Mage wins games by um, generating quick tempo from the cost reduction that they get from the secrets, not from blocking opponents out of playing the game because of the secrets. Unless it's uh, even gentlemen, we don't have a great matchup in uh, Shutterwalk. Ah, ah, I see you brought guests. Mm. Okay. 
suppose it's here. Holy low rolls on those treasures. I mean, Kazakus got a lot worse when they took uh, Locus out of it. Just the lethality isn't really there anymore. They're Totem Shaman now. Amalgam Shaman? It is certainly not. No. We tried Dragon Soul since Weapon Tech has been added. Uh, no, but I probably will. It's just like I've done a lot of overheal things already. So a lot of those decks just end up being like the same 20 or so cards plus a win condition. Locus did kind of make it broken though, didn't it? Yeah, not in wild so much, and uh, like we're also well past the point where it would remain or still be broken in in wild, right? Job done. Uh, probably just play a Doctor Boom next turn. Should help with spot removal. I've got double uh, mass removal. Just need to find some more dragons. Oh, if they do go wide here, we might have to play a brawl or something. I enjoy Miracle Priest. Me too, but like uh, repeating the same decks uh, too frequently is uh, not a good strategy for YouTube. For the... Is Dr. Boom still the best hero, warrior hero for control decks? Uh, nope. Uh, almost certainly not. Uh, Rogue Kara is uh, generally preferable, but like Dr. Boom is fun, so I'm playing him. <laughs> Okay, we should be able to clear this next turn with a hero power into boom and swing face. Maybe because this is... Oh, I don't even need the boom. Or I could simply just, like, boom first, right? I'm so Bummer. All right. Uh, I've either got the Flurry and Whelp followed by Hero Power or just probably simply play the Onyxia. The long-term value of Dr. Boom is sweet since all your mechs get rushed. Yeah, I'm not running any mechs, though. <laughs> so, I guess my Anoya Horn will be pretty good, though. Honestly, this just kind of seems like a good turn for the Flurry, so I'm going to take it. And then that allows me to retain the Onyxia for when we have a worse hero power. Sure. 
Oh, we found an aggro deck finally. Let's keep our symmetry here. Uh, we still need a couple more dragons though. So like a dragon roar should uh, solve it. Oof. Garage death knight good. No. <laughs> no. Not the slightest. Uh, probably should have done this sooner, but uh, let's actually just take that off the board. Send everything else upstairs. Opponent has pretty much lost already. It's not even a pretty much. They they lost several turns ago. So there's like valets are the burn in the deck. It's not it's not a burn deck anymore. Cobalt doesn't really tell us much about what type of uh, Warlock deck it is, other than it's probably not Questline, which is very good for me. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think it's the Tony Warlock. Nope. Uh, that's okay. I have not seen a disco lock in a long, long time. That said, I do have a pretty decent hand for it. No, don't. It's still good. No. Scream for me. This is terrifying with the Wicked Whispers, yeah. See you later, Cone. Don't be I dare you. Not really in a big hurry to draw cards right now, anyway. Well. If I'm able to retain this armor, next turn looks pretty good. Cute lock is back. I don't think this is cute lock. I think it's just. Uh, Disco lock. Oh, I really needed that not to go for this. And that. There we go. I'm so I'll take all the armor that you have, please. Rip Cataclysm card? Hey, we've got... We've got our own cataclysm. My god. Cataclysm! See, told you. Oh my god, it's armor. Just don't die here. Hold. 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 This is fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. 
and opponent's dead. Uh, alright. Alright, uh, ugh. slam for cycle, and just keep this hand. I probably shouldn't just rip a verse rip on one. We have turned our curse. All right, even Shaman should be fine for us. We just kind of pick apart at their totems. I see you, you have quite literally one play to make here. Is little time. It's literally every game is just like aggro decks roping me. It's unreal. Yeah, that's good for next turn. Or I can choose to coin a Koto Hide if they have like a anchored totem and no taunt. This hand is the problem, but this is too slow, so let's put this on top. Guess it doesn't matter, we draw it anyway. But ETC and even Shaman, even Shaman is, uh, has always been one of the decks that uh, uses ETC just because it wants like a low level. Turn we go Hero Power, Onyxian Drake, um, Chorus Rift. The reason I played the. Um, sure. Uh, it was. I, I played the Shield Block just in case they are searching for a Lothab off that. That was my last Rift. Should be the one that takes that off the board, right? Scream for me. Neat. Hey, welcome, Josh. All right, uh, turn eight <laughs> is looking pretty good in a couple of ways, but like I need some cards to get me there. Um, the good news is that like I have a an ogre in hand, and no eyeballs, please. Oh my god. Oh, that's the only outcome that didn't kill. That's embarrassing for them. Alright, their pace is starting to pick up, so that's good news. This curse has become our greatest strength. All right. Next turn is probably the Onyxia. What a sight to behold! I'm on fire. Fantastic. Now that's a good use of an ETC if I've ever seen one. At least they are quick on the concede. <laughs> All right. I think that's probably enough footage for this deck.
Thank you to legendary supporters Battlefly, Brian Huynh, Fizzle Jizzix, Justice Crater, Kali Alkali, Cathandrian, Lilu, Nate Drex, Saga, Shadow1TV, and Sognisman. 